So partnering with the Burlington uh, Public Library, we are accepting donations of cell phones and tablets. To date, since uh, April of last year, we've received 33 working cell phones, smartphones, and four working tablets that have been distributed. I'm so grateful for the partnership with the Burlington Public Library. Actually, every single thing I have done with the Canadian public, the non-Ukrainian public, has been breathtaking. People smile, they feel like they're connected, they're actually being able to help versus just sitting there and watching, you know, the, unfortunately, the bad news that gets broadcast on an ongoing basis. So if you do have a smartphone or a cell phone, take it to your local Burlington library. What they do on a weekly basis is ship it to the central library, which is just a few minutes away from here, and they notify me and I go and pick it up on my way down to the church. If you don't have a phone to give, perhaps you'd like to show your support through the purchase of a brand new t-shirt. Following the first rally that Ukrainians have ever had outdoors, which we did at City Hall, protesting the invasion, my counselor, Rory Neeson, came up with the idea that we really should create a t-shirt that people can purchase, that they can support uh, Ukrainian causes. Uh, the proceeds of this go towards helping refugees here. And what the shirt reads, it's a slogan that Ukrainians always use, Slava Ukraini, Heroim Slava, glory to Ukraine, glory to her heroes. And uh, the shirt was designed by my daughter. Concept of having a shirt, though, was Rory Neeson's. Of course, the needs of refugees expand beyond cell phones and the financial support from t-shirt sales. If you'd like to hear specific needs of Ukrainian refugees to see if you can assist, there's a Facebook group dedicated to just that, and many have generously donated furniture, clothing, and children's necessities through that group. If you'd like to learn more, you can contact Stephen directly at the number or email address on your screen. For Halton News, I'm Jessica Kading.